morning. Um, we slept lakeside last night. I slept very well. It's going to be a hot day today, but it's cool right now. So we're wearing shorts, but wearing long sleeves and jackets as well. Ooh, whatever. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go today. Probably pretty far. The train looks favorable for me. Adam doesn't think it does for him, but you know, it's all a good. We can't change that. We can't change the weather. All we can do is start putting our one foot in front of the other going north. So that's what we're going to do today, and um, hopefully I can find a hostel or something to resupply in the next few days because I thought I had more food than I did. No wonder my pack was feeling light. So everyone have a great day, and we'll keep you posted. Here's our tent. The lake is beyond us, and wait till you see the sun just glimmering on the water. Adam got his pants wet. He kind of fell in a little trying to get us water because it's not that easy but look at this it is so beautiful great day to hike hello from Watoga Lake we've hiked through the woods the trail literally just came out of there and the beautiful lake we've been walking near and now we're about to cross over the Watoga Lake Dam, I believe. Beautiful rocks. Today is, look at the sky. Today is amazing. We feel energized. So we had that beautiful tent site last night and Adam tried to get water from the lake, but he kind of fell in, which was neither here nor there. Anyway, we were, we had like less than a liter of water. And at one o'clock in the morning, Adam wakes up and goes, can I have some water? And I didn't have any. I go, we drank the water. And he goes, no, I rolled it to you. I'm like, what? And I'm mostly asleep. He's like, I rolled it to you. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. He goes, I rolled it to you. And that's all he was saying. And I'm like, I've... Uh, I don't know what you're saying. So I unzipped the bottom of my door to the tent and I just reach out. I don't even think I had my eyes open. And the water bottle was leaning against the tent right next to me. So he had rolled it underneath the rain fly and it literally was right next to me. So we had a liter of water. I gave him the water, zipped back up and immediately fell back asleep, which is fantastic. Adam drank his water, fell asleep in an hour, hour and a half, we don't know. But anyway, I slept like a baby, even with the I rolled it to you water bottle incidents. Look at this, they're doing some surveying, but Appalachian Trail, across the dam. Not quite as big as Fontana Dam, that's for sure, but this is awesome. Look at that view. Quite a drop off. This is awesome. What a day. And there's Adam. We are leaving that dam area and Adam's having a snack. And this is like a very thin road that we've been following. Here's some really pretty rocks. But this road just keeps on going. I think it meets up with another road in about a half a mile. I don't mind it because there's no roots, rocks, or mud. So we're just meandering up this road. It's pretty steep, but I don't mind. We stopped for lunch at the Vanderventer okay. Shelter. There's some really great people. Oh, nice. uh, some of these you're, guys you're have hiked. Right Last year, year. Yeah, and oh, nice. oh, yeah. I'm doing my over here like is behind the shelter. And why am I taking you behind the shelter? Because the view is 
amazing. It's just beautiful. We still see the lake down there. It's just so nice. We're gonna hike a few more miles and find a stealth spot. Well, we hiked just under 10 miles today. We're slowing down because we wanna to get to Damascus. And we made a little fire to keep the bugs away. Adam's relaxing. And look at this campsite we have. It's fantastic. I'm going to take you around our fire here. Campsite right there. And we're on the edge of this beautiful little cliff with kind of a cool view. The mountains through the trees. We really do know how to pick a good campsite. Hello, we had a great day. We did about 10 miles and we're slowing down because we have plans for the weekend. And we, if we hike the way we could hike today, we'll be there days early. So we're just going to enjoy the really good weather. Um, we did have some elevation today, but it wasn't straight up and straight down. It was kind of up, down, up, down, up, down. So we probably did about 1500 feet, but it was, uh, it was just an amazing day. We talked with some really nice people. Um, we had a little campfire like I showed you and it was, it was really good. And I do want to say this morning, Adam goes, I want to do the shout out today. And I'm like, okay. So he takes my phone and he does it unprompted, unprovoked. It was all Hi. Today's shout out I am doing because a very specific person came to my mind last night when I was thinking about who I want to give a shout out to. And that very special person is Jimmy Johnstone. Jimmy Johnstone, I love you. I appreciate you for, for telling me that it was selfish for eating all the blueberries. Now I am here to explain myself today and the explanation is that we were there sitting in our hotel room in Irwin. I was like, I'm gonna eat these blueberries. I'll save you some. And so mom was like, all right, sounds good. And so I was munching, I was eating the blueberries. And then I looked down and to my surprise, the container was empty. And now this is a tragedy. This is unfixable. You know, I can't just put them back. You know, I had to just apologize, all right? So I'm I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Jimmy Johnstone. This is also a public apology. All right, shout out over. So that was pretty funny. I liked it, and um, he's such a great kid. We really are enjoying our, our journey out here. So tomorrow, we're gonna have another fantastic day and I will keep you posted.